to enhance the strength of the Navy. The United States has developed many new generation unmanned reconnaissance aircraft. In particular, MQ-4C giant aircraft are rated as first class. Unmanned reconnaissance aircraft MQ-4C giant was developed under the Broad Area Maritime Surveillance Program, signed by the U.S. Navy with Northrop Grumman, with a contract value of more than $1.2 billion. The system is intended to provide real-time intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions over vast ocean and coastal regions. Continuous maritime surveillance, conduct search and rescue missions, and to complement the Boeing B-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. According to Northrop Grumman, MQ-4C Chan is designed based on the variant of the Global Hawk RQ-4B for the Navy. The outstanding advantage of MQ-4C Chan is that it is equipped with the most modern reconnaissance technologies. Chan also incorporates a reinforced airframe for increased internal payload and wing for hair, burst strike, and girls' load protection, along with the icing and lining protection systems. These features allow the aircraft to descend and ascend through harsh maritime weather environments to gain a closer view of ships and other targets at sea when needed. It can be said that Chan will be a crucial component of the Navy's 21st century strategy for conducting surveillance of surface ships and submarine traffic in the vast Pacific and other oceans around the globe. The first fuselage of MQ-4C was completed and tested the ground station of the Multifunction Active Sensor Radar in 2011. After a lot of testing, initial operational capability for the MQ-4C was achieved in 2018 with full operating capability planned in 2023. The U.S. Navy intends to procure 68 MQ-4C Chan to carry out surveillance missions, along with the manned P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. As a product developed based on the RQ-4B Global Hawk, MQ-4C Chan still maintains the overall design lines with some noticeable changes. The MQ-4C will showcase a burst barely fairing containing the expected radar array as well as a small chain protrusion vision tracking system. The main aluminum fuselage is of semi-monocoque construction while the V-tail, engine cell and aft fuselage are made of composite materials. The forward fuselage is reinforced as mentioned above for the rigors of overwater flight. A single engine is mounted on its spine, straight wing appendages, retractable tricycle undercarriage, and outward canted vertical tail fins. The train has a length of 14.5 meters, height of 4.7 meters, and a wingspan of 39.9 meters. It can hold a maximum internal payload of 1,452 kg and external payload of 1,089 kg. MQ-4C Chan is powered by Rolls-Royce AE307H turbofan engine, generates a thrust of 8,500 pounds. This UAV can reach a maximum speed of 357 miles per hour equivalent to 575 km per hour, with a maximum service ceiling listed at 60,000 feet. Its maximum unrefueled range is 9,950 nautical miles, and endurance is 30 hours. Generally, the Chan is a high-altitude, long-endurance unmanned aircraft system, 
suitable for conducting continuous sustained operations over an area of interest at long ranges. In addition to reconnaissance missions, MQ-4C can also act as a hub for data transfer and aggregation, allowing connecting units located far away from each other on the battlefield, building a picture of the battlefield space and distribution to each force. The U.S. Navy is currently the only force to operate the MQ-4C line with 68 aircraft ordered, of which two have been handed over and starved to the unmanned patrol squad number 19. Australia last year signed $5.1 billion contract to buy six MQ-4Cs with the system attached, whereas Germany also expressed interest in owning this UAV in 2025. My video of MQ4C Chan and Seer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.